Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Mr. Matthew, and I'm going to be teaching you guys all about eucomoths. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the habitats, the physical characteristics, hunting and diet, pollination, life cycle, and fun facts. Okay, so basically the habitat, I've chosen to talk about the Sonoran Desert. And so what we know from the Sonoran Desert is that there's many different species that live and thrive off of different relationships within the plants and the, species, the insects or pollinators themselves. And so for eucomoths, um, I mainly wanted to talk about how they thrive from this mutualistic relationship with yucca plants that live in the Sonoran Desert. And so basically we have these yucca moths that are, are the pollinators and they gather up the pollen as they eat the yucca seeds and they just disperse when they fly away. And so we have these, on the right, we have the yucca plants. And on the left, we have the yucca moths eating from the seeds. Okay, and so the physical appearance of the yucca moths, as you can see, there's white and obviously there's different kinds of yucca moths. And so we have these change in color, which is an adaptation to, to their appearances and their ecosystems. Okay, and pollination, like I was saying, that the yucca moths have a relationship with the plants where they pollinate the, the pollen of the plants and they also eat and thrive off the nutrition from that. Okay, and the life cycle, as we know from a moth, is from an egg to a caterpillar to the moth itself. And so we have that transition where the moth becomes an adult and it just begins with, with instinct and adaptation to thrive off the yucca plants. Okay, and a few fun facts is um, we know that I have three until the female yucca moth collects pollen forming a ball that is three times the size of its head. Just imagine carrying like a big ball of cotton that's three times the size of your head. Just imagine that and the force and the strength that a, a yucca moth has. And the yucca moths are the oldest moth species. And just think about how there's many endangered animals that are, are not thriving because of many other, many different factors. And this moth has become really re resilient and it has the will to, to stay alive. And Last but not least, each yucca plant wouldn't exist without a yucca moth, and that's just the relationship like I was talking about. One couldn't live without the other. And for conclusion, if there's any questions, I just want to say thank you for listening, and I hope you guys uh, continue researching about yucca moths.